Let's say I am a company ABC. Now this company ABC wants to finance itself. There are two ways out. One is called as debt financing. The other is called as equity financing. Let's understand the difference. If I go for equity finance, let's say I dilute 15% of my stake in the company and in turn I get let's say dollar 10 million funding. So this is an example of equity financing. The benefit of equity financing is there is no obligation to repay the money. But a major drawback is I am losing a stake in the company. Clear? So there is no additional financial burden. The next is debt financing. What would happen? Uh, the company should be credit worthy, trustworthy and as a result can take loan now let's say the company takes a loan of 10 million this loan has to be paid at an interest of around three percent rate of interest and has to be repaid back in three years now what is the difference between debt financing and equity financing here so here i'm losing the stake but here i'm not losing the stake i have full rights of the company with me but i do have obligation to repay at a rate of 3% for next 3 years. So there is an obligation, there is no losing of the state, stake in the company but at the same time I do maintain full rights with the company, I do not give up any control of the business. That means in the case of debt financing what I am doing, I am borrowing the money. Okay. What happens in the case of equity financing? I am selling certain sections that I own and that makes the clear difference between what is debt financing and what is equity financing. Coming on to some common examples. Now to raise capital either as I said I would borrow as we understood from debt financing or I would sell a part of my stake in the company and that is equity financing. Equity financing is usually done for startups who do not have a strong base or who do not have their credit worthiness. So angel for, uh, investors, crowdfunding, venture capitalists, corporate investors or listing of IPO are common examples of raising a money through equity financing. Under debt financing, the common ways to uh, borrow are loan, business line of credit, uh, business credit cards, it could be a personal loan, it could be a peer-to-peer -peer lending or a SBA loan, invoicing, factoring, but all of these indicate that this can happen only in a situation where there is good credit worthiness and an idea that you would repay the amount in a certain given duration of time. However, if there is a doubt that you are not able to repay the amount, then Usually the companies would go for equity financing rather than debt financing. So this was just an overview about the two important terms. However, of recent debt financing, types of debt financing, equity financing, types of equity financing have become extremely important. A very probable question for your upcoming May, uh, prelims as well as mains examination. Economy, recession have been key these days and therefore anything related to recession, unemployment, inflation, economic uh, businesses uh, become important for your prelims as had been last year as well. So prepare well. The complete lecture series on economics is available on the link below. Wish you good luck.